and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today I'm going to be going over the best abilities and chemistries that you want to be using in Madden 20 right now. Guys, I have not made this video since like August and me and Zark were talking about it and it probably seems like a good time to do it because uh, we were thinking, right? It's we're at a point where training super cheap, right? People have a lot of end game cards coming into the game. So before people who were more in a budget, you can't always just be powering up any players and putting abilities in any place. So you don't have the coins to be doing that. Now, we're at a point where there's end game cards, so you can safely start powering up some players. You can pick the cards you want for the rest of the year. Trainings that are all time low right now. So we figured now's the time where a lot of people are probably curious about abilities and chemistry. So I'm going over the players you probably want to be coming up and uh, putting abilities on. These are your three on defense and offense. I'm going to go over the players you want on offense, the players you want on defense, and the abilities I like to put on them. Now remember, this might vary per player because some players don't get the same abilities, but I'll cover for the most part the ones that I think are the best, the speed chems, the overall team chems in general. I'm going to go on over everything as well as John Madden sort of in there. But guys, if you guys could be so kind, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on you go, boys. Come join the family. We're grinding out towards Madden 21. Hopefully, we can get to 20k sub by the end of this week, maybe, maybe we can have. So make sure you guys come join the family. Comment down below. Let me know any other abilities you guys want to add to this list or things that, you, or even if you have an ability you want to add, comment down below a reason why too to help people out. And give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 300 likes? That'd be greatly appreciated. Now let's head on over and let's go check out some of the players. So offensively, guys, I'm gonna start with the offense. Offensively, these are the players I like to run. I think when it comes to who do you want to put your abilities on for the offense, quarterback's the first one, right? You have to have your quarterback powered up. You have to have, or not even powered up, because my home is 99, so you really don't need to power it up. But you have to have your quarterback with abilities. That's first and foremost. Now, beyond that, I think the running back has to be the second one, which then kind of just leaves your wide receiver. I like to go quarterback, running back, wide receiver. So let's start with the quarterback. I actually start with the team chems, because the team chems I can go over now offensively. So team chems for offense. I like to use West Coast. I use Go Deep most of the year, but Go Deep, the issue with Go Deep is it just it focuses on throw deep and throw power. And honestly, I don't really bomb the ball that much. And I do more short and medium, which is definitely why West Coast would be more uh, beneficial and catching traffic. As well as Go Deep helps your spec catch. I really don't think spec catch is that important. I feel like spec catch is really just a fancy catching animation. It's very rare you actually get it. Catching traffic is more important for actual, like, in game trying to win the game catches. So I went with West Coast 30-30, and then I go with Zone Run, almost 30-30. I like Zone Run because it improves spin, juke, carrying, run block, and elusiveness. Kind of like everything you need for a running back and an all-lineman. So I kind of like those as my two. Now, as the other one for the, the speed, like athleticism camps, I go with Sprinter. I went with Shaker up until a few days ago. I switched to Sprinter because that times that plus two speed is huge. You'll see on some of my players how fast they are. And then for Madden, I think you want Madden Passing. Madden Passing gives you so many benefits to your whole team. Madden Passing and Rushing is definitely huge. Those are the ones I run right there. Now let's get into the players. Oh, and by the way, if you want to use Go Deep, Go Deep's still solid. It's a still a solid one, but I feel like um, West Coast just kind of has the more well-rounded aspect of it, where like it's more practical. Although it might not seem as flashy, it's more practical. And if you have Pat Mahomes, he already has like max throw power, so it really doesn't benefit him as much. Let's go over to Mahomes. So for my quarterback, these are the abilities I need to run. You need to have a skate artist in your quarterback. That is the first ability you want. Next, you want Dash and Dead Eye. These are the two abilities that are must-haves for quarterbacks. Now, not many quarterbacks can get both of these. Right now, I believe it's just Mahomes, the other Mahomes, Andrew Luck at some point, but like, like one of the top quarterbacks, right? Lamar and Mahomes and Steve Young. Only Mahomes and Steve Young can get it. So maybe you're better off going with Steve Young over one of them if you can't afford them. But Dashing Deadeye and Escape Artist together are a deadly combo because Dashing Dead Artist allows you Dashing Dashing Dead Artist. Dashing Deadeye allows you to make any throw with perfect accuracy as long as you're scrambling. Which means you can just sprint away from people with the skate artist, outrun everyone, just chuck the ball and get perfect pass accuracy. It's glitchy. And then Gunslinger obviously is great because it just gives you it gives you that stronger arm animation. It gets the balls out a lot quicker, which is great for for mostly every quarterback ever. But not every quarterback can get it. But it's definitely great for Mahomes on top of his 99 throw power. And as far as the X Factor, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really care about the X Factor when it comes to quarterbacks. I really don't ever get them activated. But I guess go with Fearless because it means throw power. Throw accuracy is unaffected by pressure, so you can get off passes with Gunslinger real fast and kind of just like not be disrupted by the, the pressure next is the running back now the running back i feel like you always want to put freight train as your x factor unless you have an nfl 101 and you get that free one i'd go freight train now i think a must is some kind of juke chem you either need jukebox or evasive you want to have jukebox or evasive it's up to you now evasive gets you spin cycle and jukebox in one or jukebox is just by itself now jukebox is good if you want to get like if you want to get power chems and stuff 
So I think Jukebox is a must. And at this point in the game, you want Bruiser. You're going to want either Evasive and Jukebox in one slot and Bruiser in another. Now, Bruiser is the power animation stuff like stiff arm trucking, breaking tackles. Jukebox and Evasive, those are the juking ones. If you can get both of those, and then I like to combine that with Outside Guru or Inside Guru, just for the small reason that it helps you with some blocking and it makes your run plays a little bit better now preferably like to have human joystick but not many running backs get that so far only christian mccaffrey is able to get human joystick but then he cannot get bruiser and he's a lot slower hopefully the next big run i'll drop running backs for like nfl i keep saying nfl 100 today ultimate legends and some other promos like chris johnson stuff does introduce a few human joystick running backs with 99 speed that is kind of the next running back i'll be going for but pretty much after this you want to be looking for human joystick and evasive first and foremost with bruiser being second bruiser not as important as the first two in my opinion but it's definitely still useful now moving on to the next one, I use my wide receiver, which is gonna be Calvin Johnson Jr. Now Calvin Johnson, this is, okay, wide receivers are a little bit harder when it comes to which ones to pick. So I like to go with Moss just because if you get Moss activated, it's like a guaranteed touchdown for the most part. So next, when it comes to Moss in the first slot, just, guys, there's so many. I mean, wide receivers are very, very picky. Like it's very based in preference, based on what you like. Return man's a good option. If you if you have like a guy like Tyreek Hill, you put return man on him. Very great at kick returns. Now you can use a lot of these. For the first one, I like to go with streak specialist just because. It's Calvin Johnson, better catching on streak routes. Now, I don't really streak it too much, so the only thing I would end up switching it to potentially is maybe in specialist or slant specialist, maybe double move elite. One of these, but the first, he does not get too many options, so it comes down to like return man, but for Calvin, not return man, obviously, because you probably don't want to return in your kicks. That's more like a Tyree kill thing for me. But matchup nightmare, streak specialist, those are the ones I go in the first slots. Now, we come to the second, this is where things start opening up. I went with route technician. There's plenty of good options here. You see, grab and go is good. Grab and go is like human joystick, kind of. But the issue with grab and go is that the way I'm going to be playing with Calvin isn't going to be throwing like flat routes too. That's like, that's, that's my Tyreek Hill. I'm not going to be throwing flat routes too and trying to make these moves. More than likely, Calvin's going to be like a, a deep post, high pointing. Like I'm not really making rack with, I'm not really doing rack with him. And if I do, it's probably straight line speed from there on out. But I mean, grab and go is not bad, but I want route technician. You're going to get him open a lot. It pretty much just increases all of his cuts and routes. I see it as like evasive for route runners, which is very quick and getting in and out of routes. Now for the final one, I went red zone threat just because I was doing the game plan and I wanted to see how it worked in the red zone. And trust me, in the red zone, Calvin Johnson makes a lot of great catches. It definitely lives up to its, uh, its name. If you didn't want to go with that though, the only other one that I could really recommend would probably like post specialist, maybe, and, and one of the apprentices, like depending on which ones you like, obviously. So if you like to have a bunch of routes and you're a real like kind of audible type of guy, you can go with outside or inside boss or slot press outside or slot apprentice i personally like red zone threat when i get in the red zone i slant it to him i high point it to him if he gets those balls if he gets the ball in his hands he's, he's usually coming down with it even in traffic he makes great catches in the red zone i highly recommend you use these these are the ones that i'm going to be using now setting over to the defensive side of the ball because obviously we have to go over there so we can see what we run over there so on the defensive side of the ball i run like i said i run lockdown and pass rush 30 30 both lockdown is the i think that's the best one to be running because lockdown just get you all the man in zone and then pass rush get you the better pass rush animation not better pass rush animation the better pass rush stats as far as finesse move power move even gives you some catching and impact block which i find kind of weird that it gives you catching but it gives you press and pursuit definitely helps them out a lot it's kind of why their overalls go up for all you guys wondering that now when it comes to my my defense i like to have one at least one pass rusher i run two pass rushers preferably but it's up to you guys. I like to run Aaron Donald and Lawrence Taylor right outside of my right end. That one side just gets an insane amount of pressure. Sometimes, honestly, it could be smarter to run at one left or right outside and one on the left and just switch it up so you get some pressure from both sides. But I really just dominate because the re thing about these, these guys are so dominant, they get one on one. So as long as they're next to each other, they're both going to be destroying their matchup. So I always get one of them one on one. See, if you put them on one other side, maybe Lawrence Taylor's not getting the pass rush off because he's getting doubled. But then my right end's decent. If I get both a double ability chem next to each other, it's just such a. Oh, it's just, it's overpowering to the point where they're both gonna be one on one. They're always gonna win their matchup. So Lawrence Taylor, I like to put unstoppable force on them. Just pass rush wins leads to quicker block shedding, which is good for uh, stopping the run. Now I run under pressure on the first one. Now I think I might end up switching this one. It's really up to you. Not many options though. I think under pressure is the best one here. Reach Elite solid. I didn't go with power specialist because I had another ability that kind of does that already. I would recommend Reach Elite or under pressure. Reach Elite is good for getting running backs doing inside zone stuff and Lawrence Taylor's thing. You can do either one or the other. Under pressure, just make sure that the quarterback gets a bigger uh, area of disruption. So if he's getting, he's getting close to him, he's really going to throw off that pass. So it's kind of like you don't have to sack him because at the end of the day, him getting close enough will mess up the pass, which is kind of like a sack. Next, I went with power specialist for the second one. And for the third one, I did edge start. Now, this gives him power, faster power move animations, and this gives it more dominant pass rush moves. So I figured if they're one's dominant, which means they're just stronger, I guess, and one's more faster, I guess they, I'm assuming they can stack. I want power specialist here because again, he doesn't have many options in the second slot. 
it just makes it so he has faster of his power animation which he does a lot of an edge turn i feel like edge turn is a solid one dominant pass rush moves from the edge and that's if your if your scheme has him on the edge definitely go with that if not you can always go with like enforcer you can go with edge threat elite this one looks solid too dominant pass rush moves and increased quarterback pressure which i think is better than this one but like i said i have to make the switch to this too i would go with edge threat elite but the you have to remember that to get this one i would recommend that you put him on the edge. I don't know if that affects it. I'm assuming it does. That if he's not on the edge, it might not, it might not work the same way. As well as pass rush elite is really good too. But I think that pass rush elite and edge threat elite are very similar. I'm assuming one is just if you're not on the edge. Couldn't really tell you the exact difference between those two. But I recommend you do one of these two. And I'm going to upgrade from this one. I obviously haven't touched Lawrence Taylor because I didn't have a chems on him at first. I had him on Dion for a gameplay as well. So I was switching them up. But I, those are the ones I'd recommend for them. Now for the final one. Oh no. What am I saying? The second one. I put it on Aaron Donald. Now, Aaron Donald, guys, I highly recommend whoever has him. If you don't have him, you go out and get him, and you put abilities on him. So, for a superstar one, I have not put one on yet, but again, I'm going to go with Unstoppable Force. Momentum Shift is really good, but again, I feel like I'd rather have the uh, dominance on my side there. So, I put Reach Elite on for the first one, because again, not many options here, but Reach Elite's really a solid one, considering if a running back runs near him or a quarterback, he can put his arm out and just grab him and arm tackle him. Next, I put Run Stopper. He didn't have, he had a decent amount of options here, but Run Stopper seemed very good because it means that quick block sheds, tackles will engage by run blocks. So if they run to his side, him and Lawrence Taylor have been really great at stopping the run lately. And I feel like you need that in a, in a game where runs, running is just like overpowered. And I went with Pass Rush Elite for the final one. Now, compared to Edge Threat Elite, Aaron Donald's on the edge for me. That is why I put him as Pass Rush Elite. I already explained these, but those are the ones I'd run on him. And then for the third one, guys, if you don't have Troy Polamalu, go ahead and get him. You got to be putting chems on your strong safety. I think that you want one in this. I think a safety needs to have one because a safety kind of just like he's like the captain of the whole field watching everything. I feel like you definitely need him having one. So I put zone hawk first, which just means he's more knockouts, and interceptions in zone coverage. Then for the first, one, I put acrobat. Again, not many, not crazy amount of options here, but acrobat is definitely one of the ones you want to put because acrobat means he's going to get, he's going to be able to dive for things. So I've had diving interceptions already, or if he's out of reach, he'll dive for it, which makes, it makes spectacular plays. Enforcer's huge. Enforcer's pretty much like as a computer. He just hit six everyone he forces a ton of fumbles and i don't have to use him i let him do his work and he just destroys running backs always lays a boom always gets fumble animation you gotta have enforcer and then the third one universal coverage one of the best abilities this year overall improved coverage and cast knocked out some man and zone pretty much they just become way better at zone and man he already has like 99 each or 99 zone and really good man so highly recommend you put those on so that pretty much covers the basis of what i recommend you put on and those are the ones i'd like to play Again, if you use middle linebackers, things kind of apply similarly. Like I put enforcer on them too. You just go with this pass rush for them. Cornerbacks, same thing as a uh, safety. Just I would take off enforcer for you, uh, Deion Sanders, and put something more along the lines of like a tip drill or something. But other than that, guys, I pretty much does wrap up the video. I would not recommend you put them on linemen or tight ends. I really like them on the three I said on each are kind of the consensus of what most people use anyways. But that is about it for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you are new to the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on your boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 200 likes in this video? And make sure to comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding abilities. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.